is a fragrance subscription service, just like Netflix allows you to watch hundreds of titles. Scentbird gives you the opportunity to receive scents from over 600 brands in just a few clicks. So they're super flexible and you can skip any month. So what I think is really cool about this is that you get to choose a new fragrance every month for just $17. Scentbird carries brands like Prada, Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, and on their website you can take a simple quiz, okay, and Scentbird will help you find the ones that you love. They work directly with the brands, which I love, so you know everything is 100% authentic. Um, you know, these brands can cost you anywhere from $150 to $500, so it's really cool that you can just kind of try them out. Um, so, I need to tell you that this is available in the U.S. and Canada. Now, I said $17 earlier, but, 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 if you use my code MT, Maddie Tingle, MT55, MT55, okay, you're going to get 55% off your first month. 55% off, so it's going to make it just over $7 for scent burden, which is incredible. So this month I got three scents that I really, really love. The first one is... This is... Mankind. Mankind. Mankind Unlimited by Kenneth Cole. Okay, so did you see how fast that came out? This is my favorite thing, is... When you get these, look at this, boom, it's that easy. That's my favorite part. <laughs> uh, so let's see what this, this one is like. Ooh, yeah, this one's like a, a fresh, oh my gosh, fresh spice, maybe like a warm, kind of woody, wood-like. Um, I really, I actually, I'm probably going to use this. I actually really like this. So this is Mankind Unlimited by Kenneth Cole. The next one that I got is... This is Home Intenso. Home Intenso by Vince Camuto. Vince Camuto. Um, and this is one that I'd never heard of before, but I actually just used this today when I went out. So we'll get you set up there. Yeah, this is, this is the kind that I like. So this is more of a modern, I would say modern freshness, if you will. Uh, maybe some citrusy ginger in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I really, really like this one. So that is Home Intenso uh, by Vince Camuto. And the last one that I received this month. Is... Layton, Layton by Perfumes de Marley. Perfumes de Marley, okay? And I have actually not smelled this one yet, so we can do that together. Let's do it. Whoa. Okay, this is like a, oh my gosh, it's really warm. It's almost like a coffee, a coffee tone, if you will. Wow. Actually, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's coffee tone, maybe a little warm, elegant smell. Fantastic. That's actually really great. So, again, if you would love to try out Scentbird, which I think you should, I use it and love this company and product, okay? If you check them out, please use code MT55 to get 55% off your first month. All right, MT55. Um, so, thank you, Scentbird, for sponsoring this video. Uh, and thank you for watching, All right? So, let's get into the video, 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 video. help you. How's it going? Good. My name is Maddie. Yeah, good to meet you. 
Oh, yeah, no, I, it's good to meet you too. How's your day going? Nice. Nice. Just walking around doing some shopping. Fun. Nice. Oh, thanks for asking. Um, my day's pretty good. My day's pretty good. Any any day I'm at work, uh, and can be around all these books, is a good day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, what brings you in? Are you searching for anything in particular? Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a lot of, uh, a lot of what people come in for is they're just looking for that next thing to really dive into, but they have no idea what they're looking for. Which, ironically, would make a great book. <laughs> um, okay, so what kind of things are you into? Give me, maybe give me some of your favorite books. How about that? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so you like a mystery kind of... Yeah, what else? Okay, maybe a little, um... Maybe a little self-help-ish kind of thing. Nice, nice. Yeah, no. It, uh, the more specific you can be uh, really helps, so. Oh. Ooh. Um, I would have to look. I know that we have notebooks. You, you mean like blank, blank pages, right? Yeah. I know we have one. I don't know if we have any like football related ones. I can look. I can I can certainly look for you. Yeah. Well, have you found anything yet or Oh. Oh, absolutely. I I can Yeah. No, this is this is the best kind of interaction for me. Yes, I love I love suggesting books. Great. Okay. Hmm. Let me think about what should I recommend you. Okay. I have a couple ideas. How about this? Give me give me a minute. I'll run to the back. I know at least two I want to pull for you. And then I can maybe try to find some sort of notebook football related. It's for a gift. Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, okay, well, give me a second. Let me run in the back and uh, I'll see what I can pull. I think I have a couple great ideas. All right, yeah, feel free to walk around. Uh, give me literally a minute and I'll be back. I'll meet you back here, okay? Okay, all right, be right back. Okay, hey, good to see you again. Um, all right, so I actually found a, a couple great books for you. But first, I have some really good news. This is so random <laughs> that you asked for this, but I actually have, believe it or not, this notebook. And it's a Nike, just do it, notebook, and it's football. It's literally like football skin notebook. <laughs> How crazy is that? You want to see? Sure. Uh, let me. I can get it open. There we go. There we go. Yeah. This is, I mean, literally, this could not be more what you were looking for. Just crazy. Um, yeah, and so there's just a empty notepad. Um, and it's football. How crazy is that? And then there's a nice little incredible. Uh, what do you think? Right? I, I mean, I've worked here for years and I've never been asked that. So, I mean, 
it's actually insane. <laughs> but I just went to the back, went on the computer, and just looked up football notebook. And it said we had one in stock. And I snagged it. And again, it's just blank pages. Blank pages. And then there's a calendar in the back. But that's pretty amazing. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I did not think that we had this. So. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to guess this is a go for you, right? Okay. What is it for? Can I ask? Oh. Nice. That's cool. Oh, yeah. This is perfect then. Yeah. Okay. Great. So I'll put that to the side, but that's. Okay, so um, I, I pulled a couple of books outside of that for you that I think that you will absolutely love. Um, this is my this is my favorite part of my job because I mean there's you know thousands of books in in this store and certainly um, I have not read all of them, but I read a lot. I read a lot, and so I think that I'm well equipped to tell people about the books that I love. <laughs> yeah, so the first one I wanted to show you is a little bit <sighs> new age. It's a little bit new age. It's a little bit, I mean, you'll tell from the title, <laughs> but um, I cannot suggest this book more. Um, you mentioned kind of a self-help book um, about anxiety, maybe depression, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, and, and, and this genre is so popular now because, you know, I think it's tough out there for, for all of us. And especially with the last couple of years, you know, um, these books have really been flying off the shelf because people just, people want to feel like they're doing something to get better. You know what I mean? Um, so one of those books that I highly recommend um, is this. Okay, and um, I'm not going to say it, but on F word, your brain. Okay, and this is using science to get over your anxiety, depression, anger, freakouts, and triggers. Okay, and this is so cleverly written. Um, I've read this like four times, honestly. It's so good. Um, it is by Faith Harper, PhD. Uh, Wall Street Journal bestseller author, um, and I'll just read you the back, the little review. It says, Dr. Faith is a hoot with heart, and her guide is full of workable professional advice, as well as it is to replete with sarcasm, good humor, and grace. Um, so basically what this book is, is one... It's an easy read. It's a very small book. This is my face. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's a very small book. But um, what this really is, is why I think this is smart is our, you know, with, with social media and TikTok and just how we consume things now, a lot of us are not built for long form, you know, 70 page chapters anymore. And this book is broken down into very short pieces. And for me, I'm, I'm kind of a completionist. And so it makes me feel good when I can go through half a book um, in a day. Does that make sense? So, um, yeah, this is just, it's just so good. Um, I'll read you this little piece. <clears throat> it says, we are all cursed with living in interesting times. Even when things, sorry, we are all cursed with living in interesting times. Even when things are moving along and our lives are generally positive, they are not curated for a focus on calmness, dullness, and space to think and chill. Remember when vacation was meant to be a time of fun and adventure? Now it's a time to go away and sit somewhere and be as quiet, non-thinky, and non-dewy as possible. I work with so many people who just need more time in their lives to chill. They aren't crazy, they're just exhausted. 
I love that. Like, that's such a great sentiment of, like, I think with now, you know, how many people do we hear that say, I just need to unplug. I just need to go somewhere and do nothing. <laughs> right? Um, I think that's a really great point. Really great point. So, um, I, I highly suggest this book. It is... It is... Uh, let's see. These are the credits. It's 174 pages. Um, but it's it's short. Short pages. It almost feels... It almost feels workbooky, if that makes sense. Um, it's just an easy... It's an easy read, but it's also a lot of truth and a lot of, like, light bulbs are going to go bing, bing, bing. You know what I mean? So, um, unf your brain. Um, I could not recommend this any more than I do. It is uh, genuinely one of my favorite things, and I think, you know, if it was up to me, I would give this to every person in the world. You know what I mean? I would give this... It's, I think it's that important and that impactful. So, um... Yeah, what are your thoughts? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's why I like it so much, is it's not necessarily a self-help book. It's more, hey, we're all in this together, and we're all in the same place now. Let's figure out how to get out of it. Instead of... You specifically have this wrong with you. Here's how to get out. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I highly recommend this. Um, yeah. So I'll put this right here. And you can think on that. But um, out of all the... Out of all the books that you can buy that's like... Here's how to get out of a funk. Here's how to... That book covers everything. Exactly, yeah. Well, I hope you'll check it out. Okay, and then the novel, or the the kind of mystery fictional book that I wanted to um, tell you about and suggest to you. Um, I'm sure you've heard of it. It is by far our number one seller right now. But I have to tell you something about this. Um, it is every page of this book is good. Every single page page they also made a movie that was fantastic my jaw dropped many times in it i i personally loved it it was like a nine five out of ten for me uh the movie which is really hard to do from a book and make it good you know so um anyway this is where the crawdads sing uh, where the crawdads sing by delia owen Owens. And so first things first, I am a hard book cover person. Okay, so I love the hard cover. This is a absolute beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, yeah, more than two million copies sold of this book. And that's when this was printed. Um, this is a New York Times bestseller. It is on the Reese Witherspoon Book Club. That's what that's sticking what that sticker is um and this is just a fantastic novel this is what uh new york times has to say painfully beautiful at once a murder mystery a coming of age narrative and a celebration of nature i think that's a pretty good really broad explanation of it um without giving too much away um the broad scheme of this book is that um there is a um, there's a woman, oh, here, here. I just don't want to give too much away here. Yeah, this is great, okay. Here's a quick, just one paragraph about the book, okay? So, <clears throat> this says, For years, rumors of the Marsh Girl have haunted Barkley Cove, a quiet town on the North Carolina coast. So, in late 1969, when handsome Chase Andrews is found dead, the locals immediately suspect Kaya Clark, the so-called Marsh Girl. 
But Katya is not what they say. Sensitive and intelligent, she has survived for years alone in the marsh that she calls home. Finding friends in the gulls and lessons in the sand. Then the time comes when she yearns to be touched and loved. When two young men from the town become intrigued by her wild beauty, Kaya opens herself to a new life until the unthinkable happens. I think that that's a great way to put this book, but trust me. Oh my gosh. Trust me on this. The last 10 pages of this book is going to, your jaw's going to drop. It's, it's just, it is so good. It is so good. Um, yeah, it's, it's just unbelievable. Um, <clears throat> Reese Witherspoon. I can't even express how much I loved this book. I didn't want this story to end. Um, a lush debut novel, Owens delivers her mystery wrapped in gorgeous lyrical prose. A magnificent achievement, ambitious, credible, and very timely. Um, now, I will say, I like to give people a preface when I suggest books. And that is, there are some dark stuff in this, there, there is some dark stuff in this book, okay? There's abuse, there is sexual abuse, there is manipulation, and I just like telling people that because, you know, the last thing that I want is to uh, recommend a book to someone without telling them that, and then they get triggered and it's a bad thing. Um... And they blame me, or they, they just think, oh man, that guy should have told me at the, at the store, <laughs> you know, so, um, I just like telling people that, so if you're okay with that stuff, or I shouldn't say okay, of course, but if you can tolerate that stuff for the story, then you're good to go, but, um, you know, I, I know people that probably would not read this book, because that kind of stuff can be, um, triggering to them. Yeah, so what do you think? <laughs> yeah, and this is a beautiful copy. Again, hardcover. Hardcover. Um, just gorgeous uh, dust cover. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the author. It's just, to me, it's one of those books that, um, if you have a collection of books, you need to have it. And even more so, especially because the movie came out, this could be a coffee table book, right? That when people come over and they go, oh, have you seen that? You know, it could be a conversation starter as well. Yeah. So, thoughts on this? All of the books out right now, this is my number one recommendation. Yes. Great. Great. I'm so glad. I wish you could, like, come back. I mean, come back. And, uh, and let me know what you think. I would love to know your thoughts. Okay, so we have Where the Crawdads Sing. And then thoughts on this. Yeah. Absolutely, we'll do that. And then we have the football notebook, which again, so lucky. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed, but we have it. So that's three books, and you're good to go with those? Great, great. Well, here's the deal. I will carry these up uh, to the check stand, and... Feel free to walk around, find anything else. There's tons of stuff uh, to look at. There's some sales stuff up front, um, and I'll be I'll be up there whenever you're ready uh, with these three books. Okay. Hey, no, it was a, my pleasure. My pleasure. This is why I love working here.
yeah and again i would love for you to come back and tell me what you thought <laughs> of course happy to help okay all right yeah, i'll see you up there in a minute okay